Welcome back to the Real Estate Rat Pack Radio Show with Chris, Joe, and Rob. The crew is taking your calls, so dial in at 1-800-808-5548. And we're We're back. back. You know... I was laughing hilariously, or quite a bit during during that break. By the way, anybody wants to know a great, great visual, call Brian. <laughs> and and Ashley wasn't that far behind. <laughs> hey, I have a shameless plug since we're on shameless plug day here. Yes, because uh, I forgot I was going to mention at the beginning of the show. We had an awesome segment run last night on the ten o'clock news channel two. Yes, with Bill Spencer. Uh, it was a really great story, uh, breaking free from Credit Prison, a family that we were able to help, and, and they have a phenomenal story. And it's going to run again today at 12 o'clock uh, on Channel 2, uh, yep. so you can catch it. I, I just had to throw that in. Catch it one I, more I, time. I think you should. Shameless plugs. Yes. yes. <laughs> and, if, and if you don't catch it on there, it'll be on Facebook and And trust me, YouTube it'll be on the and, website. and <laughs> <laughs> Google, you name it, I'll have it everywhere. That is yeah. true. That you is know, true. Um, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I, I talked to some people that heard it said it was a great segment. It was. It was. Actually, I, I have it recorded. I started watching a little bit of it, and then I had to run out this morning because I couldn't be late. Uh, but I'm going to finish watching it. But uh, it started off; it was really, it was really interesting. And you and I spoke about sort of the family, so I already had the I, background what? about what's going on. I would so love to have them on a show, right? Because they went through the whole experience from you know being bad credit, not being able to buy, getting good credit, but then trying to find a home in the Cinco Ranch area and dealing yeah. with multiple offers, losing bids, all to finally you know finding a place and closing. They really tell. The whole story of of so many things that we talk about yep. on the show, that it was it was really really a cool process to to hear their story down to the 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 most amazing part to me was that this family uh, they wanted to have children but they were unable to have children and the the doctor said they needed to if they wanted to go down that road they needed to do in vitro and they couldn't get approved for a loan to do and in so vitro. And my credit USA wow. gave them the money they needed so. to be able to do the in vitro. <laughs> <No>. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So, so that's so, at twelve o'clock today, KPRC Channel Two. Yeah, that is you're true. on the you're on the TV, right? Yes. On the, yes. Yeah, I yeah, saw that. It was a great little Woo-hoo. segment. Yeah. Yep. yeah, three minute segment because you know uh, a lot of times when you get interviewed, you, you know they'll interview you for fifteen minutes and they'll give you fifteen seconds. Yeah, so three and minutes. And that's why radio is so much more important. And if you, you get the full hour here, <laughs> yes, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and, and if you get to watch the segment, notice the shameless plugs all around the video where the the book is. Properly positioned, <laughs> positioned right in front of the camera, <laughs> and in the background is the massive logo on my computer screen for. There if, are no accidents. Yes, <laughs> yes. everything yes. is programmed. Yes. Everything and, and, is planned. And his uh, iron-on T-shirt that he's going to be wearing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think back. that tattoo across the forehead was a bit. That, yeah, was, yeah, yeah, that yeah. was a little bit. It too said much. no regrets. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't help but I spelt regrets wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah, God. not no even regret. one syllable. <laughs> no, so not one word, not one, not one not, letter. Huh? Not forgets. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, re- regrets. no regrets. No regrets. <laughs> yeah. So you know, yes. let's get back. You yes. know, we have our last back segment right here with show. Brian and Teresa. You know, the Woodlands is about to be sold out. I mean, literally speaking, it's technically sold out. Where do you go from there? What's what's happening around the area now? Gosh, there's a lot that's going around the area. You know, the Woodlands uh, just uh, purchased some land just north of of Conroe. Yeah, and he, have, that's Hughes mm-hmm. Corporation, right? Yes. Um, yeah. yeah, Hughes Corporation. Thanks. Um, what twenty five hundred acres? You know, so there's going to be a there's going to be a big big project there. Okay. Um, you know the um, uh, the Camp Strake site. I okay, know. There. Um, you know that's going to be that's going to be starting. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of stuff on the on the east side uh, as well, um, where the uh, the new Beltway is is coming through the the Grand Parkway there. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, is you know so we're going to see some other things as the Woodlands uh, you know finishes out. There's going to be all the other communities that are that are uh, really around that you're going to see. You really got Wood up. Forest up on the north. Oh. Wood you know, Forest right is doing there. fantastic. Oh gosh, right. Wood Forest yeah. is doing awesome. Absolutely. You know, I'd heard a lot of times that there was resistance to the sales on the east side. I, I think that that has kind of abated. People are like. Happy to have anything uh, now, right? I, regardless. I, I agree. You know, yeah. Toll Brothers has this large community that's just you know that's just coming in, and so right. a lot of traffic right now with all the construction. But as that you know, as that starts to you know to finish up, I think that's going to be a big uh, a big deal too for our area. Well, uh, and and they're also moving, I think, a little bit further 
north, like Willis even, believe it or not. And, of course, right. west, Magnolia, M- Montgomery. Tom, Look at Tom Ball. I mean, Tom right. Ball. Oh, yeah. It's right. crazy. Yeah. I mean, every time I go down Kirkendall or, you know, north, uh, south on Kirkendall, I'm looking. There's another. I mean, trees are being I tried my motorcycle down. out in Tom Let's Ball. not talk about traffic checking yeah. on trees, though. Right. Yeah, not it's anymore. It's crazy. I, you know, being a real estate agent, I grew up in Carriage Hills, and Mrs. Jacobs, when she passed away, her kids sold everything to Dr. Horton. Hi, Maria Dorman. And um, she just she just said, we all, she's listening to us right now. Um, and uh, when she passed away, the kids sold everything to Dr. Horton. And I mean, it's all Jacobs Reserve now. And, and, I, and I remember thinking, what about all the animals? You know, I mean, that's, and I'm a real estate agent, agent just like you guys, so you would think that I would be excited, more homes, but I'm kind of like the poor animals. you got to have a balance. But they did a good job on Jacobs. They do. They, they do. They did a good job. It's a great, they, they, great they, community. Uh, they preserved what they could. Yeah. They oh, yeah. a nice environment. So, I mean, it's, and you've it's, got the Sam Houston, you know, state forest right there. So they've got plenty of. Which of, will forever remain a forest. Yes. So yes. that's the good news. So tell me, why, why are people moving the woodlands? Go ahead, Teresa. That's a good question. Why but, are they? By the way, here? radio <laughs> silence is not you golden. Know, <laughs> like, you know what it is? It, because we are one of the top communities in the nation, and I think George Mitchell put so much thought into what his vision of it would be. And we've got over 140 miles of biking trails. We, um, are, the community gives back. I mean, there's it's just really so family oriented. I, I can ride my bicycle with my kids to the village. Right. You and everything's know, self-contained center. too. You know, there's a lot of, um, you know, I've been in the woodlands um, really since it started, and um, you know, there's a lot of you know, job growth there too. Mm-hmm. You know, and you know, as they say, what is it? Live, work, play. What yeah. It, right. Know, um, you know, there's a, I thought there, it was live, laugh, love. Yeah, live, laugh, love. <laughs> you know, Have I it, got it wrong? It, yeah. <laughs> It um, you know there's a, there's a lot to do there's a, there's a lot to do there you know with the recreation with yeah. you know, now all the new you know the new restaurants and 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 product there too you California know, with, Kitchen Pit and, and uh, since you've been there for so long kitchen. tell me yeah. tell me the Woodlands oh, Parkway has not always now. been that crowded yeah. <laughs> no it has not it has not and we had the first Trader Joe's yeah yeah and oh, whole, yeah. whole, whole, whole Foods Whole Foods right? just opened yeah. up so. yeah everybody tells me that so I need to so now you two can overpay for groceries yeah yes. <laughs> well my wife would drive to the Whole Foods in Houston so we have a shorter oh there you go shorter saving... drive now yeah absolutely we're, okay we're taking a selfie yeah, okay. yeah there goes the yeah. selfie right there <laughs> there you go now you know one of the things and, and the Woodlands has experienced this huge amount of growth you mentioned there's a lot of things to do uh you know what's what's really neat also is you have a lot of outdoor activities you know one of the things houston is really getting involved with people like to do things outdoors oh yeah right. well the kayaking i take my kids right. and in fact a friend of mine is going to see zz top tonight at the cynthia mitchell pavilion so we have the number one outdoor amphitheater what time are the services? In the Woodlands. I think that was an old person. Uh, yeah. yeah. Z- I Z- actually Z- quite Z- like that. <laughs> yeah, they're awesome. They are. They, they are. It's yeah. going to be packed. And Elton John was there last night. Yes. Yep. They, they, the Rocket actually, Man. Yeah. Yep, Rocket, Rocket Man. Man. <laughs> so they're, they're bringing out all the old rockers, that are basically. Yeah. yeah. Well, Def Leppard was there. I mean, you would, be, yeah. you would not. I mean. They get Brian sold Adams. out. Brian Adams. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's been a run on formaldehyde. Hey, <laughs> I'm 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 going. I'm going to go see new kids on the block. Some of these guys so are running out of money. You better just watch it. My shoe might come lot, across the room there. A lot of great acts at Dosey Do too. Don't yeah, oh, Dosey yeah. Do is big, awesome. Big awesome. Million, but you see some super acts just right. Oh yeah. Do. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's yeah. Just down the road from me. Dosey Do right yep. there. At well, we, and we've got two of their little cafes as well. So mm-hmm. they've got the, you know, the one on fourteen eighty eight. And right. then a little coffee shop in Alden Bridge, where I live. Right. Now, individuals are moving to Houston. Let me ask you this question, because we're coming up against probably the last three, four minutes in the show right now. We're coming up on our our uh, six day and twenty three hour uh, break. That is true. Right. That is true. <laughs> so, you know, individuals that are that are coming into Houston, what do you tell them about Houston right now? What what is, what are some of the great selling points in real estate right now? And is now here's the question I get asked all the time: Is now a good time to buy or sell in Houston? No, I think it's a great time to to buy or sell in Houston. I mean, our, um, lots of lots of great opportunities. You know, I'm most familiar with what's on the you know what's on the north side, and there's a good selection of of inventory. There's a the best selection of inventory we've had in in quite some time. And our in our sellers, you know, uh, prices have gone up quite a bit. 
over the last 12 to 18 months. So it's a good time for them if they wanted to, to move up as well. Yeah. I mean, I just met with another um, seller uh, Friday and they uh, and I door knocked on their door two years ago and met with them. Um, you they door knock me. on a door, by the way? Yeah, I door knocked on the door. Okay, smarty pants. I door knocked on their window, by the way. You should, you should do the windows and then they call the police. <laughs> I know. They're like, who's that person looking at our window? No, um, and it's uh, we can list our home for 100000 more now than we yeah. could two years ago. But interest rates are still Crazy. low. I mean, they right. are still so historically low. low. Yeah. You know, we're, I tell you, we're still in that perfect storm. You know, the forecast that, that Ted Jones talked about, that we're still going to have a very strong market when it comes to individuals moving to Houston, about 70,000, 80,000 people. We're still looking at an appreciation. You know, long term, we're still going to be looking at an average appreciation of about 3% per year. Um, in fact, 2014, the entire year, we, we averaged about 7.7% appreciation. Yeah. So the, the problem, you know, if individuals are afraid about selling because they're going to buy something that's also a little bit higher than they thought, it's not going to get any better. Right. No. It's going to continue to go right. higher. Yeah. So you have to sort of pick and choose your moments. You do. And then you have to with, you know, with, with clients, um, you know, is find out what their motivating factor is. Why do they want to move? You know, that's a, you know, that's something that we do really well with. And I, I would think, absolutely agree. And I think um, the way of the, the life you can give your family and live here is what I would tell people why they should move to Houston because you can just have a great life. Now I end this. The, the you always yes. One of the things I'll set this up for you. Okay. One of the things that well before we do that, Teresa, Brian, how can we reach you? By the way, you can reach me seven one three three zero four two five seven eight is my direct cell number or Brian at brianschweiker dot com. My last name is S C H. W E I K E R. Brian with an I. Brian and with an I. And how about you, Teresa? Teresa Kennedy, KennedyTeam.net, or you can call me 281 799 3927. You know, we always end the show with a great quote. Now, generally speaking, Teresa Kennedy will actually send me this quote via text, and I'm usually, you know, getting it, but she's actually in the studio. So, What's our quote for today? Our quote today is, true confidence leaves no room for jealousy when you know you're great to have, no need to hate. Amen. I like, I like that. it. Like that. Don't I like less. that. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes like there it goes that. right there. You know, Very time good. flies. We tell, tell everybody time flies you're having fun. You can check us out on Facebook. You can go to realestateratpack.com on our website. Uh, or you can look any one of us up individually. Until next time, we We're are out. out. And you've been listening to the Real Estate Rat Pack. The question is, who's Frank, who's Sammy, who's Dean, and who's the other guy? Uh, Chris is Frank, Frank. he's Dean, Dean, and I'm Sammy. Yes, he's Dean. (laughs) Is that right? (laughs) So tune in to the really big show every Saturday at 9 a.m. right here on 100.7 The Word, KKHT.